All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, April 6th to April 12th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is a, uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And if you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way, meaning linking every card in terms of career, in terms of relationship, knowing how to interpret it into negative or in a positive position, I'm offering online tarot classes and you can sign up for them again at my website going into the tarot classes section. So Scorpio, wow, it does look like that we are this time around a bit blessed, guys, in terms of career or in terms of relationship, blah, 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 relationship, obviously. Uh, two of Cups, it is the lucky card for us this week in terms of a um, situation. And now let's see about, I don't even want to look at it. Let's see about the energy. That will be the energy of the King of Pentacles. Very, very peculiar, to be honest. So I, uh, that means that the Two of Cups, it's really quite conditional. I, it does depend on what kind of an impression we're going to make. So next one, it will be the challenges. We do have the Sun card there, not a good one, but it's something that we can definitely deal with. Followed by the gifts and the blessings of the Nine of Pentacles. Quite promising, quite hopeful, help, uh, hopeful and helpful card at that position. Afterwards, it is the impression. Very, very important one. Wow, that was going to be the Queen of Cups. Um, impression that we are leaving into the people around and the last one is the guidance that we do have wow that is going to be the five of swords my god all right so um that is about love triangle if it is or kind of like it's something like this if it is about relationship uh, that that is displayed here with the five of swords at the, at the end in terms of a what you gotta do or rather like the guidance the tarot is offering so um Moving first here with the first couple of cards, we do have the energies of the five of the King of Pentacles, excuse me, and the situation of the Two of Cups. So shortly said, or long story short here, um, these two cards are pointing that because we can give what it is expected, you know, we can either provoke an, an intimacy in our, um, I'm saying our because I'm Scorpio as well, intimacy into our romantic life or, okay, a, a very good cooperation in terms of a career because obviously, you know, the Two of Cups also have an interpretation in terms of career. It does not have to mean that you're going to fall in love with co-worker because, for example, if someone asks you, you know, how is my job going to go forward? I'm pretty stressed in my business. The Two of Cups doesn't mean that you're going to fall in love there. It's just, it means completely different things. But for that, into the tarot courses or into the tarot classes, for now, uh, these two cards, like I said, are pointing that someone is going to like, or a society of people, not just only going to like, but they are just going to see that we do have what they need. And likewise, that, we, that they do have what we need as well, which obviously could be very potent in terms of relationships. And especially if you are aiming to establish relationship, that you are going to be efficient or sufficient to one another in the sense of that what your future partner seeks, or the person that you are trying to be with seeks, it is exactly what you can give and vice versa as well. That is because the King of Pentacles, it's always on point or dead on in terms of investing and getting back as their investments goes or kind of like getting back as in not interest but as a benefit so that being said uh that is going to be a week uh safely can be said here that is going to be a week where you or we as a scorpios are going to how can i say are going to be for a first time for a quite a while if you ask me, uh, in a state where we will see that people care, okay, that we are with the right people around or with the right person around. 
just giving you an example you're struggling into your career you are really having a rough time with your co-workers well with those two cards then Scorpio it does look like that what you have to offer this week is going to completely reverse the opinion of your co-workers and now they are not going to give you hard time okay they, they will start cooperating with you more because they will see that you are actually not just only useful but you are a part of the team and in terms of relationship it's obvious here that your suitor or your partner will start seeing with those energies that you can actually give them what's uh, what they need are they gonna take it that depends on them you know that is a decision that we cannot make for them because that is not what taro is all about okay taro never takes decisions for somebody it can only tell you what could be if you do that are you gonna do it that depends on you but anyway um we can conclude or at least i can conclude from those two cards that if we decide to give love love is what we are going to take because once again whatever we give we take if we decide to give kindness kindness it is what we are gonna take as well or yeah we are gonna take in return if we decide to give a hard time hard time is what we are gonna face okay if we decide to to give generosity generosity is what we are going to face as a matter of fact the king of uh, the king of pentacles urges us to be generous and this week for us it will be uh, with a full force in place the game of giving and taking so we have to talk about the situation then what is the situation no shyness and pride at all i mean two of cups it's very muffled it's it's kind of like oppressed significantly if one is if one lingers to its pride if one lingers into its shyness if one sits on a high horse thinking that nobody is as good as they are i mean we have to take ourselves as like we are a human beings and in front of the universe we are all equal so that being said those two cards are pointing here that if you do like someone you just say it okay do not be shy to do it so because if you do not say it the answer always i mean always is going to be no if you do want to make peace with somebody make the first step because that is is going to be reciprocal they will also make their part as well or their due uh in this uh, in this particular case so uh, as we can see here that is a very philosophical explanation but just so i can tell you here on a more practical level it's just i got excited from the cards but just to give you a more practical interpretation this week we can as a scorpio we can enjoy into a harmonious flow into our career nobody is going to give us a hard time as a matter of fact people are going to aim to help us in anything they can they are going to approach us with understanding and as well with uh, with a, a care a care careful expression so they will care about us and in terms of love well who knows maybe we have found it one way or another or even if it isn't at least we are going to have a pretty good idea what love should be for us moving forward that we need to be in tune with the giving and taking so that being said moving to the next one what is going to be the difficulty what will be the challenge for us that is the sun card it will be awkward to say the least looking at that card uh, it means that the whole situation uh, it will be a bit it will feel very unnatural to us in the sense of that you know uh, we may have a hard time getting in tune with the person that we are falling in love with for example or that they are loving us and etc etc it's like we are gonna have that difficulty to believe that there is a growth in there that this is exactly what we should do for example and that is our natural progression in life for one or another reason maybe because uh, if i have to give you an example for the career maybe because we hold a grudge toward our colleagues and right now it's difficult for us to believe that we actually can make peace with them uh, and we can waver the white flag from both sides not just from one of uh, from one there or if it's about suitor uh, it could be because you know 
there is a barriers in between us and them for one or another reason and we're impatient and etc etc it's just the sun here points that we may have that um, uh, skepticism uh, that will last and it's as good as it is okay because it is as good as it is i mean it's it shows a big potential in either way term career term relationship it's just we should not do stupid things to muffle it down we should not do stupid things to suppress the expanding energies of growth which the sun is showing and which are challenging to develop but the challenge is so can be overcome and not so you know to hold us down so just uh, i urge you here with this card scorpio and i urge myself you know try to be happy try try to have fun that, that's all that is asked here it's just to have fun and uh, do not shy away it's the only thing that can deprive us from being happy at least for throughout the week moving next it is the um, gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy here that is the nine of pentacles and it's uh, the gift of a leap moving forward or a leap into development that is given to us so meaning that on a more practical level if that re refers to the career it means that this giving and taking it is the exact thing we need to improve into our career meaning that uh you have stroked the the big deal in terms of your career with the uh, um with a client for example or you have been assigned into the right project here in terms of relationship that is leaping to development of love as well like you have cut, caught the big fish that you have waiting for and it could be a big fish for you or a small for others i'm not saying that you know that that is something that it is way above your standards it is just it is your right thing and that is your gift here do not miss it i i, I should not miss it god damn it <laughs> okay so it's uh, it looks a pretty pretty um hopeful week for us to develop our whatever we are missing here but with the nine of pentacles uh, it's also the gift of being able to provide in a sense of that we can supplement it we we can definitely fulfill the expectations of the situation or of the person we are trying to be with or we can be with or we are with so uh it's important uh, not to kind of uh, have a low opinion of yourself which is something i have to work on myself as well okay because my assistant always says that you know i believe that i do not deserve a good future maybe she is right maybe she isn't but it's uh, that card definitely makes me uh kind of like see that that way um in the sense of that maybe i am underestimating myself or maybe i'm not but the thing is that it's a it's a question that i have to think of it so what is going to be the impression of the people around in this particular narrative we do have the, the queen of cups so people are gonna see us very very caring people are gonna see us as a, a person who now uh, throughout this week at least it's someone worth exploring in a sense of that you do have or we do have a lot to offer uh, especially when it comes to a, a emotional um, emotional expression people are going to see us very touchy people are touchy in a sense of that we are very connected emotionally people are going to see us as well very unique in a sense of that we can understand we do have that understanding into the human nature and therefore they will not going to repose us with whatever uh, expressions they do have for example someone wants to share something from their past or they do have a kind of a habit that uh, they may think under normal circumstances that that is going to repose us that is not going to be the case this week i mean people will feel that they can tell us anything and that we are going to understand it and accept it in any way possible uh, which are making us way more um approachable than before this is what i am trying to say so that's the bottom line people will have the impression that we are way more approachable than before and the last one it is the guidance and this is why i said that it could be a love triangle because the five of swords here points 
that it will be more than just one or more than just one person that seeks our attention and unfortunately we can't split ourselves in two and at the end of the day there will be those pleased and those displeased and with the five of swords we have to uh, how can i say it um we have to decide in our own personal favor because at the end of the day we also have to end up happy and as we can so uh, as we saw here with the sun card that is going to be the challenge to end up happy and that's why we need to have fun so we gotta go with the thing that suits us best and that is the guidance here with the five of swords regardless of what kind of an impact that could have to those that are to be left stranded because at the end of the day no matter how much we we try we never can satisfy everybody there will be always displeased people so why don't we do this time around for a change something to please ourselves instead so that being said scorpio this was uh, our weekly general tarot reading guys uh, i'm sorry if uh, it was a bit all over the place i just got excited quite a lot uh, it looks very very promising and uh if you like the way I read tarot cards, you can sign up for the on online classes that I am providing there. I'm going to explain you the tarot cards in terms of career, in terms of relationship, how to interpret them in a negative and in a positive uh, way as well, and how to take on them in a specific um, spread that I'm using. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below. Also going to give you the website from which you can purchase the courses as well. And uh, as soon as you make your purchase, regardless, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours and uh, we'll explain you how we are going to go from there. So hopefully you are going to stay safe now and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.